What up, y'all? See, I got an angry video to make for y'all today. You know what I'm, I'm in Flatbush right now. Just got the news that Juice World died, you know what I'm saying, from a seizure in an airport. You know what I'm saying, I'm not sad about this. I'm, I'm real mad about this. And the reason is, is because I want to know when we really started just everybody using all of these fucking stupid ass drugs everybody's using. Let's be, let's be real honest. We know what the cause of this shit is. Little young boy, 21 years old, ain't just have a seizure and die in the airport for no fucking reason. All right? So let's talk about it, huh? Drugs is a cultural thing. What do I mean by that? That means if you're a Mexican, right, cocaine is a drug of your culture, right? If you a Middle Eastern, a Asian, or something of that sort, heroin is a drug of your culture, right? When you step out of your culture and you're using drugs that don't belong to your culture, the instances and the chances of fatal fatalities occurring goes up significantly. The reason why is because when something is part of your culture, that means it's passed down from generation to generation and experience and knowledge of these drugs are passed through the community. And once they're passed through the community, you learn how to use these things safely and appropriately. Right? So, we as a people have started using drugs that don't belong to our culture. Lean is also a cultural drug. Right? Lean is a liquid form of heroin for those who don't know. But, it's an opioid. And it's a cultural thing that belongs to the South. And when I say the South, not everyone in the South, I'm talking about Texas and some other places. I'm from New York, so I'm not familiar with the whole history. I don't want to speak wrong on it. But it's a cultural thing that belongs to a lot of Southern parts of our culture. Right? And these people understand how to use these drugs. Should they be using them? No. Right? Shouldn't be using no fatal substances, but there's a lot of substances that are fatal, right? So we can't say that, right? But they do use it culturally. And through hip hop, these substances have become popularized throughout the throughout our society, throughout our culture. And it's causing deaths of young black leaders, young black affluent rich people, right? Young black successful Youths who would otherwise go on to be successful in life, prosperous, and help the rest of our culture get uplifted by putting on friends and family and just spending their money and spreading it through the society in order to help all of us, right? So we're losing the people that can take us out of the shit and the racism and all this other shit that we're in, right? What, what is going on with us? Why, why are we using these things? I'm not blaming the drugs, right? I'm not gonna blame the drugs, right? I'm gonna blame hip hop. I'm gonna blame Lil Wayne, Future, right? I'm gonna blame YouTube, record labels, and label executives, right? And why am I blaming these people? Well, first of all, Future and Lil Wayne, y'all motherfuckers is old enough to know what the fuck going on and what y'all, what the power of y'all influences on the society and the culture. Right? Y'all sit down and y'all promote this shit, promote this shit, promote this shit through our hoods. And let me ask you a question. When you watching these young niggas dying, hmm, why y'all ain't coming out and making a statement? Why y'all ain't saying something? Huh? Y'all the motherfuckers that was saying something and popularizing this shit and making it so that these young niggas want to do this shit so bad, making it so cool and all that. Why y'all ain't saying something? Hmm? Why do I blame label execs and all that? I think y'all y'all aware that these motherfuckers is sitting down and supposed to be take they taking these artists from out of their parents home and out of the worst parts of the communities and just allowing them to be free these are supposed to be your investments right multi-million dollars investments that y'all are letting go and letting die but it's okay to y'all because y'all make so y'all about to make so much money off of this man's death that it makes up for the fact that that you lost the artist due to this lean and you keep popularizing them because you feel like oh this is a way to make an easy dollar because it's such a, a, a popular thing in the culture, right? And so because of the popularity, you don't care about us. And you just let our children get taught and fed this bullshit. 
so that they can follow suit. Y'all can get a new leaned up, drugged up artist, right? Why do I blame YouTube? I blame YouTube because YouTube has this thing where they like to go around and demonetize people. You know what I'm saying? They like to go around and, and make sure that people aren't making any money off of stupid things like hunting animals in the woods or, or, or whatever the fuck. Random shit. They're going to demonetize Alex Jones because he a conspiracy theorist. They're going to demonetize fucking... Pardon me, y'all. They're going to demonetize Farrakhan because he's saying some anti-Semitic things in his, in his messages, right? But they let these motherfuckers, these fucking young, little, underage rappers, they let them get on the fucking internet, double cupped up, pouring lean on waffles and on their toothbrushes and shit, and promote this shit all through the hood. Ever wonder about that? Why they never demonetize world star for promoting all of them fucking fights throughout the hood and all the neighborhoods, fucking us up, bum fights, crackhead fights, little kids fighting at school, getting knocked the fuck out, huh? Little girls twerking in videos with asses and titties showing and all this type of shit. Why, why they don't demonetize none of that shit? Why? Because they like promoting that shit to our culture, right? Ask yourselves that. So now, here's a message to all the young niggas. And I don't, I don't, every man is responsible for their own path, right? And I don't want to come down too hard on blaming y'all. Because at the end of the day, addiction is a motherfucking sickness. And I was born in a, in a, in a lucky time of my life. If I was born a few years earlier or a few years later, things might have been very different for me. If I was born a little earlier, maybe I would have got caught up in the crack epidemic or the heroin epidemic. And if I was born a little later, maybe I would have been born in the, in the lean epidemic, Percocet, Xanax epidemic. But you know, I was born in a sweet spot where I learned from my, from my predecessors that that shit was fucked up. And so when I saw it re showing this ugly head, again, I knew what it was and I understood and a lot of y'all young niggas, y'all don't, y'all don't really know what it is. So I, I can't really blame y'all all the way. Even though every man is in control of their own destiny, y'all are being influenced by people who don't give a fuck about y'all, and you don't realize that they're telling you something that's cool. And train up a child in the way you should go and never depart from it. Which means that if you show a child what is cool, they're gonna do it on their own without anybody telling them how to do it, what to do it, and they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna use it and do it to the fullest they expect. To their potential, especially a personality people. For those that don't know, anybody in the music industry, 90% of them are a personality people. You gotta be an a personality person to make it that far. A personality people means addictive personality, excited personality, a go getter, get up and go type person, a person who's extra motivated, right? A person who's extra motivated, okay? This person gets a hold of drugs, it'll be the destruction of their life. So again, I don't blame you guys 100%, right? But I'm gonna give y'all a message. And the message is this, right? If you using drugs, using lean, perks, zannies, whatever the fuck it is that you addicted to, right? Y'all motherfuckers ain't wise enough or smart enough to do the research, read, read these things and figure out what the fuck it is you putting in your body's fine. I'm gonna tell you something. Stop getting on fucking planes, okay? You addicted to these drugs, you got them in your system, stop getting on fucking planes, okay? The plane air pressure changes, fuck with your body chemistry, and causes seizures when you're on these fucking drugs, right? This is why it's happening, and nobody's saying it. Stop getting on planes if you're addicted to this shit. Know who you are, know what's about, don't tell people you're gonna quit. It's not, you don't have to tell people you're gonna quit. You don't gotta lie to nobody. You gotta be truthful to yourself and know yourself. Know who you are, know that you're an addict. Right? You can't just stop lean whenever you want to. Know that you're an addict and you're not going to stop popping these pills and doing these shits and stop getting on fucking planes. Because as you can see, you get on the plane, you get off the plane, walking through the airport and fucking drop dead. Not even know that this happened until you. Boy was bleeding out his mouth by the time the ambulance came to him. It's my words to y'all, man. I don't, I, I, I'm upset about this shit. 
This is young black youth. This is young black talent. And this is the future generations. Y'all kids are teaching my fucking kids how to be. Cut this shit the fuck out, please.